Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And in the last episode, guys, we went over to the reservation to check up on Rainsfall, and things are not doing particularly well over there. It seems like the troops over at Fort Wallace are causing some shenanigans, and I think Rainsfall is starting to realize that it's going to take a miracle to maintain peace between the army and the tribe. Now, hopefully, it has a happy ending, but I really doubt that that's the case. Speaking of happy endings that didn't happen, uh, we are here at Hamish's cabin. Whoops, there you go, Arthur. Rest in peace. And since he is dead and gone, unfortunately, I think we go ahead and check out his cabin. Are we able to? Oh, yes, we are. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything that we can grab. Waste not, want not. Some ground coffee. I think Hamish would appreciate that we're not letting anything go to waste. Assorted biscuits. Go ahead and check the sink. We got some gin under the sink. That's a good idea. Oh, look at all of our old friends. My only, uh, my only issue is that we couldn't put the boar's head up here. Some medication. Oh, gold pocket watch. Fine brandy, money clip. Ten dollars. Tell you the truth, though, he had pretty much everything that he needed right here. And I like the fact that he had a curtain. So he didn't have to deal with the uh, daylight in the morning. If he didn't want to. And can't carry any more of that item. The broken mirror is interesting. And gun oil we're good on. And I know it's probably a little bit too hot <laughs> to check the fireplace. Oh, and now it's raining. Awesome. However, you also do want to check out... What fascinating to me is that the outhouse is so far away from the from the dwelling itself, considering the condition with his leg. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's go ahead and call Rosalina, who's probably going to... Oh, does not scare the... Is that a deer? Oh yes. Yes, indeed. Long <laughs> time, girl. Now, in terms of where we're going today, guys, I think we're going to go around the lake and head, I believe, near the Heartland Oil Fields once again. Yeah, relatively close by to Cumberland Forest and uh, meet up with Eagle Flies. We've seen the dad. Let's go ahead and talk to the son. Maybe we can convince him otherwise because we, he is right next to Fort Wallace. And that's no good. We've got a little bit of a ride here. Nothing too serious. Maybe something interesting will happen along the way. Yep. <laughs> and then we've got the captain that we met in the last episode. Back up north at the reservation. And then good old Micah in Van Horn. And if you guys haven't noticed already, I tend to try to do Micah's missions last. But I also like trying to do stuff a, a little bit in order. What I mean by that is if we have new missions show up, I want to do the old ones first. So after we take care of this mission, we may head over to Van Horn and talk to Micah and see how bad the situation's going over there. <laughs> a little bit of morning fog here. I think it's the morning. But... I guess that we, I guess we'll see. Speaking of seeing things, I do have some interesting information to let you guys know. It doesn't really have anything yeah. to do with the series, but um, my sister-in-law has been really active on Ancestry.com and found out some very Im interesting information about the history of our family, at least on my dad's side. Um, we haven't really b been able to find morning. Haven't been able to find a whole lot of info over the years, but she kind of made a breakthrough. 
And um, the family on my dad's side actually spent a lot of time in Chicago. And then uh, they came from England. Like, he, she, he was able, or she was able to get the lineage all the way back to England. Like, we've got an old line. We've been here in America for a very long time. And actually, I believe in the 1600s, at least, we, um, one of my ancestors came over from England and married an Iroquois woman, which I thought was awesome. Like, And another tribe that was native to North Carolina, I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head, but it's cool to, to find out a lot about your family history. I don't know, like if they, I think they may have also been active in Oklahoma. Well, that may have been my mom's family. But one of the interesting things is we found out that my uh, dad's side of the family fought for the Union during the Civil War while my mom's family fought for the Confederacy. And that's, we always thought that most of our family came from the Southern area of the United States, but not the case. Um, he fought in the, I think, Ancestor fought in the Illinois Militia. So cool stuff. We're still trying to unearth some uh, more details. Howdy, there, stranger. Howdy. Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? Where's Calumet Ravine? Is that back the way I came? Because if so, I'm not going to be particularly pleased. Okay, well, you know what? Let's, uh... We'll, we'll talk to Eagle Flies a little bit. Ah, uh, no, I... Nah. Let's not do a race. I ain't interested, feather. Alright, no problem. No harm in asking. No, you're right. Maybe we'll run into you again. Because that would completely go against what I just told you about wanting to kind of do stuff chronologically. <laughs> Looks like we're leaving the mountains here, going more into the plains with Howdy. A blind man. Okay, here you are. Ooh, auto save. Interesting. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. And that's fairly ominous. So let's try and stay away from those situations if possible. I always like randomly running into him and giving him money. We get such interesting information that may come to light later. But, uh, we were actually able to find a picture of, I think, my grandfather's father, or my grandfather's father's father, and man, um, and who lived around Chicago, and that man had a glorious mustache. Like, it was amazing. It was quite one of those, um, Jack Daniels, you know, pugilist mustaches. And he was in a three-piece suit with a fedora. Very interesting. Especially what happened in Chicago around those times. Definitely makes me want to find out more information. And here we go. <laughs> that guy just rode by Eagle Flies in his war party like, Okay. How's it going, all? They are going... I don't know. Looks like there's a... Maybe a camp down there. Oh, hi, Dutch. Great. 
So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fact. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Doc, okay. I guess we're helping. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Yeah, what, what could possibly go wrong? Pick up the spool. Well, at least Bill's not helping us with the explosives. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. Thank you, Eagle Flies. Attach wire to the dynamite. Oh, yay, we're doing multiples. Like, how much are we... Oh, are we just basically... All of these trees? How can no one get killed from this? So, you finally got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah. After all those years... Hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Uh-huh. I'd figure if we want to block the road, we put the dynamite on the other side, so the blast would actually force the trees. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's just what I would assume. That the blast would cause the trees to go toward the road. Quick, get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Right behind you, Dutch, as usual. I'm looking forward to this blowing up in our faces. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Okay. Over here, Arthur. You're gonna have to time that just right. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Do we, though? Okay. They've passed the first chalk. Put 
Your okay. hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Oh, your here we go. Your friends fired first, soldier! Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected was gonna happen. Oh, I've got... I have got the wrong gun for this. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna head over here just to reinforce. Yep. Okay. Now we're in good shape. One of ours, yep. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you go ahead and finish him off. That's good. Whoop! <laughs> oh, pistolas here is a bad idea. Oh well. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You just die, sir. There you go. Right there. Got you. You fools, you damn fools. It's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Especially due to the fact that you were hunting with... ...arrows. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. They were kids. <gasps> Ooh. Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down. We're gonna get out of this. Ah. Think you're helping those savages? You're finishing them. All right. Oh. My hat. Oh wow, it went downhill. Uh huh. Like so. There you go. We need to take out that cat. For them, you die like Got you outnumbered, I don't think. I think we've outnumbered you now. Where's Peta? They're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... 
I'm worried about folk. I know. I Woo! We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now, okay. I, we have to abandon the hat. We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Come on, Rosalina. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. On it. Oh, uh, here's my horse. Or my hat. Let's go. And actually, while this is going on, let's go ahead and get our dead eye back up to full. Do we have any opened snake oil? Yes, we do. And then popcorn chocolate bar. Yeah. Well, that didn't do anything. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Gah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. We ain't leaving here alive, Mr. Shit! Oh. Guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. Okay, where are they? Oh, they're up here. Woo! Good lord. Yep. See him. I don't want to shoot the horse. That's a big bridge. That's gorgeous. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of folks. Okay. Let's restart from the checkpoint. Hopefully that bridge is the checkpoint. I need to... Get some snake oil. All right. Do 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 do. Let's go on. Come on. And in this in this situation. Behind us. Hold them off. One more. Woo! There's too many, Arthur. Fall back. This is where you I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Are there people behind us? No? Okay. Oh. And down we go again. Apparently. Oh, Dutch died. Yeah. I did not know that could happen. We got Okay. Keep going. Get our pistolas out. Hey, ba, ba, ba. Nope. Oh. 
How did you live? All right, come on, Dutch. I said, come on, Dutch. Okay, we still got some open snake oil. Let's go. I'll hold them here. Move. Did you, that is that wise Dutch? Crap, Temple of this Doom style. Well, Arthur. Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. Oh, God. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! He said that in them hands up and come here. In Red Dead One. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We uh we can't do that. We're about to take a swim, aren't we? Your man. Those men they killed. They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend. Here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight... Gravity. Oh, huh? <laughs> Whew. That hurt. Oh, come on, Arthur, you can do it. Get through those rapids. I know this is horrible with a lung condition, but just bear with me. Swim to Dutch. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well. We can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Wow, Dutch. Oh, there's the deer. How many more close calls does Arthur have left in him? Now what? 
Now all we have is Captain Monroe and good old Micah. Lovely. I think we may have done all of the side quests, guys. I'm not sure. We've Tempest Rim. Hmm. Yeah, most of this stuff we've... We've explored most of the map. Well, I don't think we have time to do Micah's storyline. Wait, wait, where are we? Okay, we're not that far off from Van Horn. I guess we can go ahead and travel that direction. It's a bit of a ride, but... We do need... Actually, let's go ahead and head to Valentine. And we can take the stage there. It's been a while since we've been in that direction. So, we just made the situation bad, from bad to worse. Back out there, girl. Yeah, there, Rosalina. Let's do... At least we've got our show fields. I would like my carbine, my repeater, please. Thank you. And... My, yeah, the pump action shotgun. That's what I prefer to have as my weapons of choice. Ooh, ooh, easy. Easy, girl. I did not see that drop off. Thank you for warning me. I believe this is close to where we had that bad spill. So, Eagle Flies... I don't know if he was captured. Maybe he went to go... Uh, save his friend, because remember he was looking for his friend and his friend was wounded. Then the army showed up and, or reinforcements showed up and all hell broke loose, so. I'm sure Rain's Fall is going to love this. We may get a stern talking to when we head back to the reservation. Valentine should just be right around here. Ooh, easy, easy. <laughs> Treacherous roads. Yeah. Howdy. Are we may. And we could just go ahead and ride back to camp if we wanted to. Um, Valentine is right over here, so. You're good, Rosalina. I don't remember us ever riding in this area before. Oh, yeah, I do. We were chasing the guy who got uh, caught in the rapids. We were doing the bounty hunt. Now I remember. I wonder if we're done with the bounty hunts. I haven't seen any kind of update on that. It's been a while since we've been over here. Seven twenty AM. I think that Arthur needs a drink. And a bath. And all the other things that make life worth living. Oh, wait a minute. We do have a a stranger mission. Neat. In the saloon, which is right where I needed to go. Let's see, excuse me, sir. Load well, girl. All right, let's go ahead and get Rosalina properly spoiled. Get some hay. Yeah, obviously you would give the hay first because we can't really eat that. The horse can, though. Good morning, sir. Alright. Yeah, some breakfast actually would sound amazing for Arthur, I would imagine. I'm calling. Welcome to Smithfields. I don't win soon. Oh, you see, Helen, act 
Valkyrie here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee Ooh. that a man shaves a face into every day. Now that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. What? I have no idea why he followed me out to the west. He would have been better Thanks. off staying at prep school or going What's going to on? Seminary. I've spent my whole life horse whipping this scoundrel, but to no avail. Oh, are they out here? Hmm. Oh, it's the brother and sister. Or it's the... Yeah, it's that whole situation. We've ran into them before. Okay, we will go talk to them. I promise, because we had to shoot the bottle off the guy's uh, head. Welcome back. Listen, I'm afraid I don't do refunds. What's it to be? Oh, no, that's fine. I just need to double check and make sure that everything is good to go. And trim. Yeah, nothing but the chops. Arthur's looking slick. I think, at least. Huh. Well, suit yourself, friend. Okay, good lord. What's your poison? Oh, hey there, friend. You don't Oof. look so good. Can I get food, please? Yeah, I've been better. Well, Doc Calloway's just down the street there. Yeah, speaking of that. I hope you like it. <coughs> Doc has, uh... Isn't there, like, a robbery or something that we can do to him? From, like, way back when? Eh, let's have some beer in the morning. Beer, please. A little bit Good of brew. Health. R2. Glug glug. It'd be cool if, like, someone randomly walked in and wanted to talk trash to you. Yeah, because Valentine has the hotel across the way. But they said to visit the doctor, so we're going to visit the doctor. Yes, indeed. Ah, I remember that face. My medicine's been keeping you healthy, I trust. Feel free to browse. Hmm. Browse catalog. Actually, we haven't really checked uh, the catalog for oh, tonics, stimulants, and horse care. Okay, we're fine. I think we actually have to go and talk to this Just guy at night. For the pain. Thank you for your help. But speaking of nighttime, we're going to get a bath. And probably crash out during the day. For a little bit. Hi, remember me? Oh, I remember you. Lost a bit of weight there, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, about that. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Appreciate it. <laughs> This is definitely going to hit the spot. It's been a long time since Arthur had a bath. You can see his collarbones. Would you lack any assistance? Always, now, forever. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. You can just leave it to me now. If a lovely lady, or gent, depending on your preference, Hope the water's hot enough. ever offers to uh, help you scrub down, I would suggest taking it. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? So, how's it going with you? Good, good. I'm always curious if Arthur's going to have a coughing fit in the bath with all that steam. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Well, then. Nice to have some warm water instead of cold, rapid water.
Some parts of me probably ain't been this clean in months. Let's just keep that between us and these four walls, shall we? Yeah, she she seems like she hates her job. Uh, you seem nice. Oh, stop it. You're too kind. Have a beer, some lamb, and a bath. That's pretty good, I'd say. Didn't your parents warn you about talking to naked strangers? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Number of times I nearly died the past few weeks, you wouldn't believe. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Yeah, they wouldn't pay you otherwise. There it is. Doesn't get much better than this, right? Yeah, it, it, it could, but I'll take what I can get. I'll kiss the forehead and call it good. All right, I think I'm good. Thank you, ma'am. It was nice getting to know you. She actually kind of looks a little bit like Mary, too. Once <laughs> I just realized that. Whew. Okay, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I am going to crash out, and man, that guy has an impressive chin. Um, but then we are going to potentially go to the doctors and see if we can do a holdup. And then see what those folks want outside of the uh, of the bar. I don't know if they'll still be here, but anyway, it seems like a good stopping point. So we will pick it up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.